Hi everybody, it's April and I'm in my craft room. And today we are going to be working on row six of our Cricut Maker block. Now last time, oops, sorry, last time I had you looking down, I think the last couple times. And I've kind of stopped showing you the sewing because that's pretty boring. So to mix it up, this time I'm going to just keep the, the camera focused this way. I'm gonna point down to the table so Hopefully you won't see me. And I'm gonna leave the camera on while I am sewing, but I'll speed that up or I don't know, I might even cut it out just depending on how, how dull it is. So, if you haven't joined us from the start, somewhere up here I will put a link to one of the original videos. Uh, you can go back, you can get your material, and that's the beauty of YouTube these videos or movies or whatever you call them will stay out there and you can follow along whenever you are able to. So thank you, subscribe, share, thumbs up, all that stuff, and let's get started. Alrighty, so my YouTube star, as always, is right here with me. Row 6, block 31. We need two ones. put her on this table right here. See if she'll stay there. Uh, seven, a two, and a three square. Seven, half square triangle. Let's see, one, seven. And I need a two square, which I do not have. I have a three, which goes here, and those are the only squares I have. Alright, so I'm going to use this to measure, and it looks like if I cut it about one by one, we'll be good. In the meantime, one and seven. Here's a good learning thing. If you messed up your cutting like I did, then you can make what you need on the fly. And if you don't have a maker, this is what you would have done anyway. All right, so Kitty needs to go back on the mat. And I am going to, so this is my two fabric where I don't have my square. So what I'm gonna do is I've measured my square. I, I have a ruler, but it's not quite the right size. So I put, let's go this way, let's go this way. So I put this ruler down and it looks like it's five by one. So I'm just going to cut, nope, I did that backwards, let's see. Let's do it like this five by one that way. So I'm going to put this line of my fabric on the five. Watch out kitty, I can't do this with you right there. And then I'm going to put this side of my fabric on the one. And let me lay this square down. And that looks pretty darn close. So, break out the rotary cutter which actually probably needs a new blade. There we go. All right, so now I have the block that I need. Yay, okay. So we're gonna put this here. And all I've done is get the fabric for the, the piece that I'm missing, I cut it out the same size as this block, which they're right on. So that way, I don't have to go back to the maker and cut. I mean, that kind of defeat, would defeat the purpose of the maker. The maker is to cut everything out ahead of time, and then you have all your material, 
if you need just individual pieces, it's probably just as easy to just cut something out of the material that you have left using a ruler. Okay, so I've got seven, one, two, three, seven, one. So let's sew our half square triangles together. So let's put these together. nest our seams and press them together. How about we sew them together? Alright, block 31. Okay, block 32, 3 and 1. You know these are my favorite. We're gonna start running out of material here. Well, hopefully, we won't run out. It will be exactly what we need. I have a cat in my space. All right, so there we go. Put these two together. Block 32. Actually, it goes that way. Block 33, four sixes and four ones. Wow. That kind of looks like it might be a pinwheel. Nope, two arrows. Sorry. My bad. One, one, two, three, four. I have a high maintenance kitty cat. Yes, I do. Alright, so we have one, six, one, six. All these point, all these half square triangles are going to be the same. Nope. Bottom's the same way and top's the same way, but all four are not the same. So these are going to make our little arrows. And I have one. Okay, let's sew these together. Kitty. Alright, so top towards the right. So that's towards the white. Nope. Okay, bottom towards the left. Top towards the right. And that's not Hold on. One six one six. One six one six. Six one. Six one. Okay. Now we're gonna do this. Make sure they look right. Okay. One six one six six one six one. Okay. All right. Nest them together. Going opposite ways, so that's a good thing. Seams right together. Block 33. Block 34, we need one and six. I've got one and six. Which is what we just did, and then six and one, another one. So six and one. We have a cat it needs to go on a mat. <laughs> Poet and didn't know it. Okay, six one. So then I need seven, a seven square, and a one square. And what do you know? I think I used the seven square for another piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my 
seven material and do another cut. I'm just going to use scissors. So now we've got our block and a cat sitting on our block. So let's put together these half square triangles. So this block is pretty quick. together. That's not right. Seven, one. One. Uh-oh. What in the world did I do? I didn't do that right. This should be one, one, six. Yep, didn't do that one right at all. Okay, so this is how you rip out a seam. to see how to rip out a seam. I'm sure. Okay, this is going to go to the right. <laughs> uh, this is going to go to the left. And this is still wrong. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, this is okay. This is one, six, seven. This one, however, my square is the wrong side of the material. So I didn't pay attention. You know, and sometimes you just have those days where you can't seem to do it right. That evidently is gonna be my day today. Okay, so I want to put this all right, let's do the right side of the material. And you know, I love ripping out stuff. Not. Oh, baby. Let's put these two together. Let's be done with this block. Woo. It's one of the tough one for me. Seven goes at the top, and then we're going to press down. Okay, my least favorite block 34. All right, block 35, five, and one. Five and one. Let's sew these together. And this one is a little jagged on the edge. I think I had an issue when I was Oh, that's right. And this is block 35. I remember I had a blade that wasn't very sharp and I had problems, so I'll be trimming that up. All right, last block on row six, threes and sevens. So I have four seven half square triangles and four three half square triangles. One, two, three. I have exactly enough. All right, so we're going to go seven, three. Okay, kitty, you got to move. Seven, three, seven, three, seven, three. Seven. Nope. Three. Seven. 
Okay. Seven three three seven. Seven three three. this and that. Okay. I'm trying to pull a pattern out of it and I'm not having a lot of luck. So, I'm just going to sew because the first sew for these, it's all the same. You're just going to sew these two colors together. So, right now, you just focus on getting these two colors put together. And this is three, seven. Alright, so I'm going to put yellow together. Last stitch on this row. Yay! This is seven, three. Hold on. <laughs> Seven three, three seven, three seven, three seven. Okay, block thirty six, and our row six is complete. Okay, so we learned how to tear out stitches, and we learned what to do when we needed to improvise because we were missing material. So let's go through each block. I have one bar left on my battery, so I'm going to have to make this really quick. This is block one of row six, two of row six, oop, went red, three of row six, four of row six, five of row six, and six of row six. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and I will see you next time.